Thank you for the gift of life today. Embrace me and my family and protect us from this scourge. Dasela, my ancestors, I beseech you, deliver my prayers to the Creator. Days are folding into one, Dad. Tapping is boring now, but maybe the only way that marks another week, and another week, and another without you in the house. I'll try calling you later. Kisses, Alf. <coughs> Chanel bag and 
and the pensioner court with just a niggling cough. <laughs> Coughs are dangerous. Beeps, buzzing, chirps, chiming, tenderness in the nurse's eye. I, I could feel breaths all around me. Tenderness in the nurse's eyes. Breaths I knew. She, that nurse, looked at me and a tear rolled down her masked face. Beeps, breaking. Gasps became breaths falling. I felt a kiss. On my neck, ah. so many eyes, familiar eyes, tender lower lids, melting onto cheeks. Oh, 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 oh. 
Kwefule, hey, boy, Caesar Mille, your father, my older brother, I, I wanted answers. There is, there is a thing, hmm? taking the city, <laughs> the country, actually. <laughs> Easy life, it is taking all the people. It attacks them soldiers in the blood. Eh? And soon, the army disappears in the blood. Eh? Soldiers? What blood cells? <laughs> then, no protection. <laughs> hmm. Peoples actually falling like flies. Oh, mama, oh, baba. Ah, everyone, actually. In Mulaz, H I V. I seen the posters and condoms at the clinic and at the shops, but no one ever explained it to me. Did he just say my name? Bright side. He will remind you, and I, oh, <laughs> I will take care of you all. <laughs> Actually, your mother. <laughs> And my children will have a new mother. Eh? <laughs> the thought of oh, suddenly I missed father even more. I missed how he was always around when Uncle Godnos threatened to whip me for looking at him funny. The thought of living with him in his house hit me. We moved. I stood still, clutching my dead father's scarf. Mama became his. Thrift. <laughs> Thrift, Horatio. The funeral baked meat did coldly furnish forth the marriage tables. <sighs> scarf, embroidered with flowers. Death broke that little girl's heart many times over, and you, you just made me relive it by not doing your one job. The tops tell us to do what needs must. Then we're on a war footing, and then shove their fingers up our noses the morning after. <laughs> we scrub, we work, and you, Turn up late. Turn up late. And souls lurked eh? and waited. I did my job. I packed them up and kept them going because they still had the fight in them. And those we lost to the scourge were, were attended by our prayers and hope that you would do your one Fucking job! We stood against a wave of pain. Shit upon lies, upon death, upon tiredness. We went back broken to our hotel rooms, not homes. To inedible deliveries at stupid o'clock and gin with no tonic. Tell me, Azrael, how is the end? Huh? Surely you've seen many a pandemic. Azrael? life may be prolonged, yet death will seize the doctor too. This is why it has been hard. Please understand. Here I am in the ED, quite breathless and on oxygen. I look around me and see several people who look like me on oxygen and connected to machines. All beeping. No titles. 
No black cards. Most of white suits. Beeps, buzzing, chirps, and chiming. I am struggling for breath, and I am scared. Is this the end for me? Is this when I say my last goodbye? You are not here to hear me say it. I see you again. My life does not flash by, just memories. One memory of the time we had together. In Florida, actually. I thought I would live to a ripe old age with my inheritance lifestyle, super food and low carb, and see my grandchildren. Here I am, in the busy ED, surrounded by people, yet alone. Odd. This is how it ends. I will not give up hope. I will keep taking the next breath. I want to see you all.